Hello, folks. Well, we are back on the rear lift build. And some of you are going to remember uh, this, you know, because it was on the last, uh, some of the last uh, videos where we were actually building this. Uh, I've made a couple of updates <clears throat> uh, to it couple of improvements. Uh, one of them, the bearing down here, uh, I'm building a lid for it to keep dirt from getting in it. Okay, and probably put a grease dirt on here where we can grease it. Maybe put a piece of rubber over it. Uh, the other thing I did, <coughs> excuse me, I, uh, I built another one of these bearings okay so we'll have now you might remember this goes over the bearing and the bearing right has right up in there well because of these covers uh it won't fit in there no more so i am gonna have to make a larger one of these and so we're gonna do that and let's see now the other thing is is i built another one of these so we'll have two of them and the reason is that <clears throat> If you want to put downward force, it needs to it needs to have a bearing uh, down here. And if you want to do the force where you lift, you know, upward force, we need a bearing up there. So it really needs two of them if you want up and downward force. So that was the reason in going in and doing two of these. And uh, <clears throat> there's a lot of little pieces in these to make these work out. Uh, where they'll, you know, where they'll work properly. And uh, so I did go ahead and put a, build a cover for them, like I said. So anyway, we'll get to building this new bracket, and then we can look at this some more. And <clears throat> for those of you that don't know, <clears throat> that have never seen a video about this, uh, so you've got a, you've got a new lever over here that you'll be able to lift and lower uh this and then you've got uh this as well which will enable you to adjust how high or how low this is going to go so once we get it back together i'll be able to demonstrate it a little better and then we can start getting this thing mounted on there So we're ready to drill these. Uh, so you know we're building another one of these, and 
Well, we've got to drill a three quarter inch hole right there, and that'll be for the uh, threaded rod to go through. And then we've got to drill, uh, I think that's half inch, um, down through there. The reason I weld these together is that that way when I drill it, I'll know that these two holes will be in alignment. <clears throat> okay, so we'll get those drilled out. Believe it or not, when you uh, tighten up one of these drills, you should go around and tighten it in more than one, just one hole. Okay, you'll get a lot better grip on the on the drill. Well, just so you know, now I did mark these. I think you can see that right there. I put one dot on the for the left, two for the right, and the reason I do that is is so that when I build something and I want the bolt to be perfectly straight, you know, back and forth, up and down, and all that, I know that these two brackets were drilled that away. So we'll we'll separate those, and then there'll be, you know, one welded on that side, one on that side. But those dots will line up, and that'll let me know those holes are right there. Well, I have it upside down. It goes on there. That away. Okay. And that'll let me know that that these holes were drilled this way to get this thing as straight as I can get it. So we'll come back later and weld all that up and you all know me, I like to put it everything together and see if it's going to work before I actually weld everything up. You know, like one thing, we probably want to grind these off or cut these off where they're rounded. Now then, so... Now hold that we've got this uh, this extra nut down here. Uh, we'll be able to uh, put down force, okay, without you know this actually moving like it did before. And then you know you don't even really have to have grease certs. I may put some rubber over that. I mean you know you put some grease in there, and then if you ever wanted to re-grease them, you know you could just loosen them up. And you know, open it up a little bit and put some grease in there and then just tighten that right back. So let's get it back on there where we can take a look at it and see what we need to do next. Alright. Let's see what what it's gonna do here.
Let's see, I gotta dig up a bolt to go back through there. All right, well, you probably see I've already removed that. Uh, it was right in the way. So good reason to tack weld things together to start with before you actually weld things up. It was in the way of those, uh, the ends of these where they go down there. And uh, so we got that out of the way. And another thing I'm thinking about, uh, maybe, maybe not. I'm thinking about maybe just going ahead and going with the larger receiver. I don't have a piece of this that is as long as it needs to be. Uh, no. Yeah, you know, I could probably modify that. Add a piece of steel onto there. And, you know, because it needs to come back to there. But, then again, I may just not even worry about it. So, oh, and I did put the, uh, I did put the ball in it. So, you know, the way I'm thinking, you know, if I tear that up, I mean, I must really be doing something I shouldn't be doing. You know, obviously, I'm never going to bend this with a right lawnmower. That's solid steel. But that tubing right there isn't. And... So I don't know. Let me know what y'all think, you know. Write me a comment. Tell me what you think. Should I go with the larger uh, two and a half or stay with the, uh, I think that's about one and three quarter. Actually a little under. It's about one and five eighths or so. So let me know. And uh, anyways, I uh, dug up a bolt. It's not the right bolt, but it'll do for now. Okay, well, I ain't got one a little larger than that. So there's, there's a bolt. Okay. And then that'll go through there. And I don't know if that arc lip will go through there or not. It doesn't look like it will. I might have to do a little grinding on that so this arc lip will go through there. But anyways, let's see, what else is there? Oh, I'll tell you what, that's pretty heavy. So that is about as high as it's going to go. Uh, obviously, having all those extra bearings and stuff, and I could shorten that up a little, but there's not there's not a lot of room there neither. So let's see. The other thing we could do we could shorten up this throw. This is three inch, which is really way more than it needs for the manual lift. Uh, we need to get that manual lift on them. We'll get that welded on there right quick and then we can demonstrate to, uh, to those of you that haven't seen this before. So let's get that done. Okay, let's say you've got a rake on there and you don't want that rake way up here. You need it down there at the ground. Okay, so that's what where this comes into play. Okay. So we're all the way in the down position right now. Okay, so you put your rake on and you get it to where you want it, you know, where it's dragging on the ground. And you're going along and let's say there's the water hose that you forgot to roll up and you want to go over the, roller, the water hose, but you don't want to rake it up with the rake. And you don't want to stop to get off the mower because you're lazy like me. Well, then all you got to do is pull this lever, lift it up, go over the water hose, and then let your rake back down. Okay? And you don't have to turn around and sit here and dial, you know, dolly this all the way up and down to do that. You just, you just do it that way. Okay? So that's what we're building here. And, uh... I think it's gonna work great, to be honest with you. And I've been waiting to see this put on the lawnmower. I hope y'all have been too. 
Sorry it took so long to get around to it, but as you know, I've been making other videos. And, uh, but anyway, the reason I wanted to see it on the mower was I didn't know for sure how all that was going to work out with the way this lip here sticks out and you got the seat and everything. But it looks to me that it's going to be okay. Now, if that hog somehow got worked up, you know, worked up under there, I could see where this was, would be a problem. So that, you know, is something I'll have to, you know, kind of keep an eye on, I guess but it does it does clear and that that was the main thing and i mean it it really it could not be any closer i don't think i mean i can't even get my finger the end of my finger in there it is that close to rubbing and uh so now that we know all this we can uh continue on all right folks so what I've decided to do uh, what I want to do is so I went ahead and I removed that bracket and the reason is well these are a little bit thin although they probably would have been okay but uh, it fell off the workbench and when it did they weren't welded up while it bent them and so i've got the opportunity to make these a little heavier duty and not only that i think i want to spread them out a little further where we've got a little more room between them so that's what i'm doing i've got everything cut out i've got everything beheveled uh, i've got it drilled and right now i'm getting everything straight and level and we'll get tack welded together and we'll get it back on there and continue on Alrighty, folks. Well, I think we are done for today. We'll get back on this in the morning. And uh, I believe this is going to work out a lot better than what we had before. And definitely going to be a lot heavier duty. And, you know, another thing, we could put a piece of plate right through here. And that will make these a lot more rigid. And so, you know, we still got all that to do. We may put a couple of gussets. And this, uh, this great big piece of plate, it doesn't have to be that big. You know, we could probably trim a lot of it off. But, you know, one thing about having all that weight back there, it, it, it works good with the front end loader up there, you know, because I needed a counterbalance back here anyway. So it really is like the more weight I had back here, the better off I am on the loader. So anyway, hey, I appreciate everybody tuning in, and uh, we'll talk to you later on. Bye.